Hello, and welcome back to the Novice Lumberjack, where this is my like the third or fourth video in a row, and I just realized my hair looks horrible. <laughs> but who gives? Who cares? So, anyways, this one right here, I just got it. A friend of mine, a buddy, the guy I sold the Jeep to, actually, he uh, brought it over to me. He just gave it to me. I put a different bar and chain on it because it came with a uh, 20 inch bar and uh, I I didn't have a chain to fit that bar and but so I had this bar though and I had an 18 inch chain so that's why it says John Deere on it anyways this is a Poland uh, 4620 which from what I can have read is the same thing as a Poland Pro 295 the only difference is is uh, when they switched over to 4620, they have an EPA uh, catalytic style uh, muffler, right? Really holds them back, clogs them up. Uh, so I will say this, I took off the muffler already and I was shocked. It is the most uh, stopped up muffler I have ever seen on a chainsaw. So uh, what this video is gonna be about so I'm going to fire it up. Hopefully it still runs. I had to put new fuel lines in it, clean out the carb a little bit, put it back together. Ran good. But um, hopefully it'll still fire up. You never know. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do a muffler mod on this. Before we get started, I got to say about the saw. So it does have a chrome cylinder. Um, and it should be a fairly fine little saw. The only problem that I have with it really so far that I've seen is... I don't know, the, the whole handle jive on it and stuff doesn't feel really good, but it's a little tiny homeowner saw. Fine, that's a fine problem to have. The, the problem that really concerns me is this throttle. It's a cable and it runs around in a loop. They made it way too long and just, a throttle should be snappy. This one I think will never be snappy. It really takes an effort to pull it. You're dragging that cable, which is too long. Pain in the butt. So do I ever think that I'll actually really like this saw? I doubt it. <laughs> but let's see if it runs. Oh, wrong thing, I turned it off. do a test cut with it and uh, that way we have something to compare it to whenever I do the muffler mod. <laughs> too bad but uh but you know i'm comparing it in my head to the really really crappy ones the last of, of these the last of these poland plastic polands that i ran was i think it's the 36 cc one so of course it's going to be a lot of difference there but uh um also, the big thing is I know how clogged up this muffler is. Okay, so this is it. I really want you to see the layers of what they've done here. I'll try to stay in frame. All I can do is hope for the best. But um, yeah, this right here is the exhaust as how it is bolted on to the cylinder. First off, you have this heat shield right here. That's fine doesn't really hinder flow at all. But anyways, heat shield, bam. Then you have this. It's another heat shield of sorts. What the heck, right? And then 
You have, of course, the gasket. We'll go ahead and throw that out of the way. And then the muffler. Now the muffler, if you look at it, it doesn't have any holes in the common places where you would see the exhaust exiting. It exits at the back. It exits to the PTO side. Then it gets trapped inside this shield and the flow has to come back this way and exit. Of course, some will also exit this way, right? Well, actually most of it will probably exit this way, but <laughs> you are stopping the flow, forcing it to go back and then to the left and right and then forward. <laughs> this is the most restrictive exhaust I have ever seen on a chainsaw. Okay, so I had to grind it a couple times to get enough off. Ground this edge all the way around. And now we are both gonna see what's in here together. All right, that's what I figured. The exhaust has to go in here, hit a wall, maybe go through little teeny tiny holes, go through a cutout right here to get back this direction. So, that can kiss it. This right here, I can weld that back together. At least I think I can. This looks like it's galvanized. Might create some fumes, but who cares? Um, the big problem... Gosh, I just don't know. I just don't know what to do. These will go in here. Seal that up, up enough. See, if I come just right out right here, it's gonna come real close to the chain break. I guess I can come off on this side. Anyways, pause the video again. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. We, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and grind it a little bit and smooth it out. Get a little bit of the burrs off. Not, I mean, I'm not going to spend much time on it. But I think that'll work. I had to extend it out a little bit further and pointing more forward so that it would get around the uh, um, the brake lever. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. Well, here it is, gentlemen. All right, I had a little bit of red engine paint. I figured might as well use it. I think it looks cool. I mean, it wouldn't look so cool if it didn't have this little cover. This covers up those uh, attachment bolts. It's just a cover. That's all it is. But uh, let's fire it up. And uh, I am positive that I will have to tune it. If uh, you don't know about that, then you, you don't know how a chainsaw operates. You got to tune it, every little thing. All right? And that is a big thing, actually. It uh, completely uncorked it. And uh, we will see if it makes a difference. So hold on.
while sitting here editing this video, I am blown away. I can't believe it. Uh, I I would have bet a million dollars that the modded muffler made a huge difference and it was faster and stronger. But the video doesn't lie and I figured it would be better to show you. I don't know if I'm going to go back and uh, adjust the carb some more, but I got, I got to say, I mean, I got it dialed in. It was dialed in. It was good. It was running good. It goes to show you, sometimes we're all full of shit. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I don't exactly know how that came off to you guys. I haven't watched it at this point. I will edit it and I will see uh, the time differences and everything. Oh, but I know by feel, my gosh, it felt like a totally different chainsaw. It, it felt like a different chainsaw. I was really able to apply pressure. It had tons more torque. Um, it also had a lot more RPMs from what I could tell. But RPMs could be <coughs> Jeez. Anyways, RPMs could be, you know, I mean, that's that could be my mind fooling me. Um because, you know, it gets louder. And you think you feel more RPMs or hear more RPMs. But it threw the chain. That was I don't know what happened there. My chain was good, but um, yeah, <laughs> I definitely turned it into a totally different chainsaw. And um, I would say that at this point now, this is completely right in line with a uh, Husqvarna 435. Um, you know, it was good. <laughs> it ran good. Oh crap, it bent that, uh, it bent my chain guard thingy. Wow. Wow. I can't believe it even had the power to bend this thing. Honestly. A little 46cc saw. I don't think the highest of stuff like this, you know? I really don't. But shoot, it just came alive. You know, it's like Peter Frampton. Woo! I hope you get that joke. But uh, anyways, yeah. So I am looking forward to actually using this in the future. 